Hi guys, and welcome back to a brand new reaction video. Hi everyone, hello. What is the tea? What is the Darjeeling? The Lapsang Sushon? The Scalding Hot agra Agram? Assam? The El Grey? What is the tea? You must have a cup of tea. So, welcome back to the channel, and today we are going to be doing something a little bit... <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be a lot, Gales. Um, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Today, we are going to delve into the world of alpha male <laughs> videos. Oh, God, it has been a long time since I've decided to curse myself with anything like this. So, yes, today we're gonna be doing some alpha male content. We're gonna see what they're saying, and we're gonna maybe learn today how to be an alpha male. Who knows? Maybe I'll even become an alpha male for today. Don't be ridiculous. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. And you know, come follow my social medias, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff is linked down below. Come follow me, come send me things to react to, come join the fun. Anyway, I don't want to talk too much before this because I just want to get onto the torture. So <laughs> let's not beat around the bush watlier and get on with these alpha males. <laughs> okay. How a relationship will set you up for failure. If you don't actively know game and game. you magically ended up in a relationship, chances are that she broke up with you. Chances are that your only access game. to uh, is now gone. Oh, and your life see, goes into this is it. This, shock, this is the anger, depression. But if you knew game and how to deal with girls, all of that heartbreak could have been avoided. What the f was that? I don't understand anything. That didn't tell you anything. How is anyone supposed to learn anything from the- If you don't know game, then tell us what game is. Like, what? He's talking about relationships, relationships over if you don't know game or whatever. But then his, res but then his response is just, that's your only access to uh. pussy. Not a pussy. Oh, it's now gone and your life goes into shock, anger, depression. Your access to pussy uh. is gone. So you're going to go into shock anger and depression if that's all you cared about with your significant other then you're a but if you knew game and how to deal with girls all the heartbreak could have been avoided but what's game you haven't said anything like you haven't said anything it's because he doesn't even know what he's talking about he's probably seen that he's probably seen like another video of someone saying something like this and going i'm just gonna repeat what he's saying yeah, a lot of okay so what okay this, but honestly every single time you play video games your if life does get worse it's only by a small amount but then suddenly you look back and you've been playing video games for 10 years messing up your mentality I and you know i totally understand because they are so fun and i was literally a full-on gamer for like these people years. these Those people do not know how to have fun and lead to pain later why does playing games lead to pain later there's a war on masculinity go to the link in my bio you to know more there's a war on masculinity this is obscene Did you have cut me off in my prime because nothing screams masculine than sitting in some room with your dressing gown hood on like oh the height of masculinity so can i just say so, so he said at the beginning here he was like he was like sorry i kind of skimmed it so yeah a lot of guys don't want to admit this but honestly every single time you play video games your life does get worse it's all Every time you play video games, your life gets worse. <laughs> and then he said, what was at the end? He was like, Those activities that feel pleasurable right now, but then lead to pain later. You Those activities that feel pleasurable but lead to pain later. Like what? I don't understand what, like what do you mean? How, how does playing video games end with pain? I don't, like what? Yeah, fair enough. If you've got a gaming addiction, you're addicted to it, then there's an issue there and you should work yourself. But like, it's just saying because some people might have addictions to video games, we should all, just, men should just not play video games. These people just don't know how to have fun. It's like they want you to literally be grinding, 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 grinding every second of every day of every moment like there's no downtime no fun this person's not healthy you were ill ill how does that make any sense let's see what other delights this person has to say shall we it shouldn't be this way because it's shallow as fuck, but like i'll speak to the someone the reason to have they instagram like me, like, as a six out of ten for example this is how much they respect me like me whatever it is as soon as they see my instagram following not even the post but just how many people follow me they like me at least like 30 percent more when you have a large following on instagram it's basically that's the the hidden reveal of like Oh yeah, by the way, I'm a tribe leader. I'm, I'm actually an alpha male. And I, I'm a tribe leader. I'm an alpha male because I have a following on the internet. That is obs- <laughs> Imagine 
Imagine saying because you have a following, like some people follow you, whatever, you're a tribe leader and an alpha male. Yes, there are social climbers. There are people who get excited when you see followers. But like to be like, oh, well, I've got a following. That means I'm an alpha male. There are many people on this planet that are not what you would consider alpha males who have large followings. Um, me, for example. <laughs> Do you really think this person looks at me and goes, oh, he's an alpha male, well, you know. All these, to be honest, most of these men who talk about this and the way they talk about women and everything, all of these people just want to get raw dogged by men. Poof. The real alpha males are no longer like those big steroid tough guys. The guys in power, the guys who are in charge. But um, we'll tell that to the rest of them. Forward neck, hunched over posture nerds. They know that they're taking away your family from you. They taking away your family? Social media is a cancer. Porn is a cancer. Video games are cancer. Quitting all three is a rite of passage. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. <laughs> You can't make this shit. It just shows that these guys just spew utter nonsense for no reason. Just listen here. Social media is a cancer. Porn is a cancer. Video games are cancer. He's saying social media is a cancer. And at the end, quitting all three is the rite of passage for men. You are an influencer using social media. And there seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. You've just said giving up all of them, but you've just said on this one, the reason to have Instagram is because when people see that you've got a following, they more interested in you. And suddenly now that proves that you're an alpha and a leader and a tribe. Like, and what you, but you can't say both. You can't say both. That doesn't make any sense. What are you talking about? <laughs> You are so stupid. How can you do? You have to quit social media. It's a rite of passage. But also, there's a really good reason to have Instagram. And if you've got a really big following, women will be more interested in you. But you, social media is a cancer. I also am a social media influencer and I make, you know, influencer video content. <laughs> I make videos and this is how I sustain my living. But you have to quit social media. Like, what? A lunatic. Cringe. How can you not hear yourself? So I've just got a little, I just did a few little scrolls on this guy's uh, TikTok. And if we just look here, it's just insane. Like it's just never ending. These ridiculous videos of content over and over and over and over again. But I found another one where he's contradicting himself. So listen to what he says in this first video. My life changed forever when I literally just started copying people. Honestly, like I was 17 years old thinking, okay, this guy exercises like this, I'm gonna do it. This guy's got this kind of personality with girls. Okay, I'm gonna imitate that. And obviously by like copying and imitating someone, you, you can never do it 100% right, which means that then you have your own individual twist on it anyway. So he said his life changed for better when he started copying people. Saw people's personality. Oh, I'm going to copy that. Saw the way they are with girls. I'm going to copy that. And says his life changed forever. But then this Whatever video. guys are popping on TikTok. They're almost creating the trend for a lot of teenagers and young men around the world. And then all those like lower status teenagers and young men are basically just copying the trend and growing their hair in the same way, wearing the same clothes, acting in the same way, using the same memes. What you're actually doing is telling your own primal body, nervous system and brain. Yep, I'm a, I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. He's the alpha male, I'll copy him. The beta male will always copy the alpha. You're literally conditioning your own brain and telling it, yep, this guy's higher status than me. He's got higher testosterone than me. He attracts more women. I will copy him, but I will never be him. When you have this kind of internal- I, I, you can't body, make this shit up. Uses less testosterone. Again, this is bullshit. Did you hear, wait, wait, did you just even say that? This wait. kind of internal messaging, your body literally produces less testosterone. I, I, uh, I, 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 it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. So in the first video, he said when he was 17, he looked up and copied other male people on the internet and it changed his life. He started acting like them, started being the way with women and it changed his life. Yet in the next video, he then says, copying people makes you a bitch. Copying people on TikTok and all these trends and growing hair and acting a certain way makes you a bitch and makes you produce less Testosterone. I, 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 I don't. <laughs> In hell. They have no idea. They just spew nonsense. You just, like, how can you honestly say those two things and go, yeah, I stand by both of them. What I find interesting here is they're saying, they'll always copy that you're conditioning your own brain to telling it. Yep, yeah, guys, this is how I say this to me. He's got higher testosterone than me. Have you, how would you, like, I hate when people say things like, oh, they've got more testosterone than me. Have you ever had your test, like, your hormone levels actually checked? Because so many people love to talk about hormones and all these, oh, trans people like this, or gays and whatever, uh, hormones and all that. But they have not, they would never have their own hormones checked. You know what, babe? I put you in a bikini, I don't like it. 
Don't post it. What you gonna say? I'm gonna post it anyways. Oh, I mean, she that's it. Boyfriend too. That's another thing. Oh, like right. obedience is a requirement of a woman to her man. Oh for God's sake! Obedience! Obedience! You don't respect him. He's a placeholder boyfriend. Back, yeah. he I just, respect he just him, but I'm not gonna let. Not I'm not gonna tell him what to do. Just like how he should yeah, tell me. They were talking about bikinis. They were talking about bikini photos as well. Not even. Man is the authority in the relationship. If I'm responsible for providing and protecting you. Then I have authority over you, which means I'm responsible. Authority for you. So over I can you. Delegate and or lead you and give you authority like orders, right? If you don't obey, then how's it gonna work? How am I supposed to be a leader and have all these responsibilities with zero authority? That's a problem with women. Oh, these fragile. I bet he's like single as well. Let's be honest, he's probably single. He has authority over you. He's a leader, and you follow his lead, which means you must do what? That obey. is disgusting. That is so you, disgusting. Imagine, I'm sorry, in a relationship, the words authority and obey should never be in the same sentence. And I want to stress as well, all that was said at the beginning of this was, You know what, babe? That picture in the bikini, I don't like it. That picture in the bikini, I don't like it, don't post it. Just a bikini photo and like, uh, don't post it. You cannot tell your significant other not to post a bikini photo. Like women wear bikinis at the beaches. It's very normal. Don't post that photo. I'm not comfortable. That's your own insecurity, not hers. And her saying, well, I'm going to post it means... She doesn't obey her. That's another thing. Oh, like, right. obedience is a requirement of a woman to her man. Obedience is a requirement from a woman to her man. Oh, no, 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 no. I beg your pardon. If anyone says to you that obedience is required if you're in this relationship with me, run a fucking mile. Red flag, red gazebo, red circus tent. Like, that is sirens like leave obeying and obedience is never a requirement when it comes to relation obedience it's not a pet your other your other half is not a pet Disgu these men are disgusting like disgusting they hate women these men hate women they don't want a relationship they want a they want a pet they want a dog like they're not this is disgusting Elon Musk is the world's richest man, runs multiple companies, has over 100 million followers, and still finds time to re reply to random people on Twitter that he doesn't even know. But you still think she was too busy to reply to your text, wake up bra. When you're, co when you're comparing Elon Musk to a girl that you're like, seeing, there's no hope for you. I don't even I don't even need to say anything. If I need to explain to you why that's a weird comparison or this obscene comparison, then there's n there's no hope for you. No hope. Your party, your time out, and your weekend. Go to the gym, hit the weights, and make money. If you've made it, you can what have a time out. Before I don't want to see your fat ass in the club, you fing can. Have some calming tea. Do people actually respond to that? Do people actually want some like roid head screaming at them like that? Does, is that is that actually what people want? That was so that was so aggre like for no reason. That was just aggression. There was no reason for the aggression. There was no reason for that shouting. He was just shouting for literally no reason. I just want attention. Your party, your time out, and your weekend. Go to the gym, hit the weights, and make money. That's all they care about. Go to the gym, hit weights, and make money. Like it's just so vapid. It's so vapid. But it's the way it's it's the way that he's like so aggressively shouting. I don't understand like what's that what is that about? But also it's like you can't enjoy life at all. You cannot enjoy anything. You must screw all of your young time where you've got most of the energy to do things. Like, obviously, I'm not saying when you get old you can't do things. Obviously you can. But like as as someone who is approaching mid-30s, there are things that I can't necessarily do now that I could do when I was in my twenties. Just because of like as you do get older, and then add another 10 years, there'll be things you can't do as actually because your body just doesn't allow it. Yeah, Yes, you can do certain things. You still go climbing. You still do all these things. But like your energy levels do change. Like I don't drink very much alcohol now at all. I pretty much don't drink when I go out. Only because when I drink now, I get like two, even sometimes three day hangovers because my body doesn't repair and restore itself the way that it does when I was younger. When I was in my early 20s, I could get drunk so much and the next day I could feel pretty much okay. I rarely would get hangovers. But now like when I'm older, I don't. It's all very well saying F your weekend, F the pie, F this. You've got to grind until you've got nothing left. It's like, well, but you also have to enjoy your life when you can do as much as you possibly can. There's no guaranteeing that there is tomorrow for you. I know it sounds morbid, but you could die at any moment with, with any reason, hit by a bus. 
pass, hit by a car, someone could attack you. If you're in America, you could get shot. I don't know. So many things could happen. I'm not saying go out and spend all of your money. I still think save your money and still save things for the future. But like, don't limit yourself to doing literally nothing because you're like, well, I'll enjoy it when I'm full, say. Like, you might die before then. And then, well, what's the great in that? Enjoy your life while you're living, please. Listen, you need masculinity. You a need man mas stop masculine. A man who stop dangerous. No one. Oh, yes, because nothing screams masculinity than getting a uh, back tattoo and then burning it in the sun. A man who stop dangerous. A man who's no not dangerous. We take this man seriously. It's your oh, it's him again. To be masculine. It's your effing duty to a being a man means you have to be dangerous. <gasps> Ah! You need masculinity. There's some. I'm gonna to have to mute the music because the music's really loud. A man who is not ma a masculine. A man who is not dangerous. No one will take seriously. Men, do you want to be perceived as dangerous? No woman is gonna to want to be with a man who like appears dangerous. Like, yeah. There's the whole myth about like, oh, girls. The girls love a bad boy. There's a bad boy, and then there's dangerous. When I'm looking, when I, you know, if I ever look for a part or whatever, I never go. I'm gonna look for someone who has the element of danger where one moment they might suddenly just break my neck. Bring it like the neck of a swan. Again, it's, it's the anger. There's so much aggression and like, we must need, it's, it's exhausting, exhausting. You said women have been oppressed by man since the dawn of civilization, how? If you don't know that, I'm not gonna explain to you. People Yeah, sorry, sorry. If if you on if you're gonna sit there and say something like that and be that willfully, I'm sorry, willfully ignorant. I'm sorry, you cannot honestly say that women have never been oppressed in society. I mean, there are many places in the world where women are still oppressed. That's obscene to even say how. Like that's obscene. Like obscene. People don't like you in real life. I'll tell you this right now. You're very you rude. You're, you're oh, very I'm rude. Very I'm giving, I came here to give You've my So now he's just gone on an attack because he doesn't like, these, again, these guys are so he, fragile. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. And you're not gonna shun me and you're not gonna shut me out and call me obnoxious because <laughs> Mr. Yes, I bitch. can say the exact same thing about you. Because guys, 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 You're not guys, gonna guys. come Shocker. here and call me obnoxious. You are obnoxious. Rude. Okay, people because don't like you. Because take a good oh. look at yourself. If John, you she does have a point. You actually. called me a bitch and never she once did I come. Exactly. This is they think they they go on the attack just because like just, this is what they all do. Instead of actually addressing what's been said, they just go on a personal attacks. They go on attack on the person's appearance and what they are, and people think you're doing you're awful because they don't know how to come back with what you've just said because they're, they don't they, they they know that they're wrong. They have no way of combating it. So they have go they have to go on the on the attack because it's the only way that they can like win in the argument in their like mind. It's it's obscene. But again, it's because they're so fragile. These men are so fragile. So fragile. You're a weakling, a nobody. God, here we go. Okay, so let's go on to the OG alpha male on YouTube, Alpha M. Now we did a video on him a long time ago about body piercings. He made this video on YouTube like, oh God, it was back in like 2012 or something. And we reacted to it a few years ago when it was brought to my attention. And it was him basically saying like, what piercings you should, like men should never get. Now there's, I can there's, there, I can see a couple thumbnails here where he's got piercings in his face, but uh, there's a few, I'm just gonna click on a couple and see what he's saying on TikTok because this is all new content. He's been doing this kind of content since like, what, 2009 or something? I remember seeing him back in the day, like long, 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 long time ago. Let's see what he's doing 10 years, you know, 10, 11, 12 years later. Is he still spewing up the same nonsense as he was back then? Probably. Three items that instantly make you look more manly and masculine. Number one is... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can we stop for two seconds? Stop for two seconds. He says denim. Wait, 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 wait. Three items that in instantly make you look more masculine. Can you tell me, like, this is the most basic looking outfit I've ever seen in my life. This is who you're gonna take style tips <laughs> I never proclaim myself to be uh, a fashionista or know really much about fashion, but I'm not here giving people fashion advice or telling them what you should and shouldn't wear. But this outfit here is the most basic looking outfit I've ever seen in my life. And this is the person you're gonna listen to for style tips. This. <laughs> Sure, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Masculine number one is 
<laughs> I'm kidding. Denim. Oh, hilarious. Denim, uh, makes, denim. You look denim strong, makes you look more masculine, apparently. So, any so women wearing denim, denim you look like men. They elevate your style. They also look amazing when paired with boots, which is the second item okay. that makes you look more manly. All right. These come from Thursday boots. If oh, you're in so the it's market, an advert. You're, you're, this is just no an advert for these boots. This is an advert. Period. Rugged, sexy, and masculine. Rugged, sexy, and masculine. A leather jacket. Comes from Thursday boots. It's a bomber jacket, in my opinion. The bomber is the most perfect leather jacket out there because it works not only for older dudes, it also looks amazing and manly on young dudes as well. Well, thank you for that fashion advice. We we would ignore everything. That was just an undisclosed advert for the boots. That's illegal. I still just can't believe someone who looks like that is like giving fashion advice. You, this looks like the most basic basic man outfit I've ever seen in my life. And that's fine if you want to dress like this, you go for it. Like I said, I'm not exactly a fashionista, but I'm not here telling you what you should and shouldn't wear. If you're gonna look like this and tell people what to wear, you have to at least be fashionable. This is just boring. This is so boring. So there's a couple here with piercings. We'll see. We'll see. Three men's piercing oh, don't. Number one is don't pierce your eyebrows because it looks a little trashy number two is only one piercing per nose oh like you what are you <laughs> one piercing <laughs> Thank you. a subtle hoop a small stud fine having more than one not okay and no, not okay lips. never pierce your lips nips that's oh, but okay. your nipples are fine. I bet it's because he just has. I actually don't know if he has nipples. But maybe should, I think. <clears throat> I mean, when we did when we did that video a little while ago about him, when he listed off piercings that men should never get, it was basically what he was saying was all piercings are wrong except for the two that I have on my earlobe because he's got his two like earlobes pierced here. It's the way that he speaks with such conviction. One piercing max. A subtle hoop. A small stud. Fine. Having more than one. Not okay. Not okay. Like what? Well, I think eyebrow piercings on men look hot. I love eyebrow piercings. It's the way that he speaks. So, like, I can't believe that he just still makes content like this. This is very like, okay, boomer, time to go in the forever box. <laughs> so that piercing video that we reacted to is like 10 years old and he's still just making the exact same video. Three things that make you look low class. Number one is facial piercing. <sighs> you might not agree, but I'm not wrong. See, Number it's two, the conv- it You may not agree, but I'm not wrong. I hate this idea of this demonization of like low class. I hate the class system or anything is ridiculous. I came from a very poor family. Before I moved in with my grandparents, I lived with my mum. She didn't work. We lived on benefits. We lived in a council house. We, lot, most of the time she was too busy not looking after us. I had to go hungry a lot of the time. We were malnourished. We were not looked after. Completely failed by the system. Does that mean I'm scum because I was low class? Yes! This demonization of like lower class or working class, whatever, is really sick. And again, th this kind of mindset is very, very like 1940s kind of, it's weird. Class. Number one is facial so facial piercings, piercings make you look you low class. Agree. But you've just, but in that other video said it's okay to have one nose ring. But now you're saying facial piercings make you look low class. So what, what, what are you actually saying? This is what I mean. They just contradict themselves. In a minute, you just said it was okay to have one nose ring, but you've only got one nose ring here and you're saying facial piercings make you look low class. Number two is facial tattoos, neck tattoos, hand tattoos. Oh, now, I'm low class. Cool, but they definitely make you look low class. If you can't cover it with a long sleeve shirt, you probably should think twice. Again, that's very, that's very. Cigarettes or vaping. They both make you look low class and- I mean, I hate, I hate smoking. Again, it's like one of those things is, I know on my channel, I will give you advice in saying like, if you want to get face tattoos, you want to get neck tattoos or things that are exposed, make sure that they're things that aren't going to be too graphic or like offensive. I don't think actually having job stopper tattoos is trashy and low class. It depends on what you get, like the choices you make in those tattoos, of course, because if you get swastikas or like offensive symbols on your face, you will look trashy. Again, this whole demonization of like low class is, is like insult, like how de- it, I, it's, it's sick. It, I think it's just sick. It's sick. It's sick. And again, as someone who came from a very poor family who spent most of his like childhood in poverty, like I, that's not my fault. It's not nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with like, it's not all my sister or my brother. Like I've just found another instance of him even contradicting himself. Everywhere, mansion everywhere. Number one is boxers. Boxers offer zero support to your balls. They also Thank get you. all weird when you're trying to tuck them in your pants and you can usually see them. Two is tidy whities because tidy whities But he owns tidy whities And number three is anything with a funny design because they're not funny. Okay, so don't wear underwear that has a funny design because they're not 
funny. The number one most attractive pair of underwear that a man can wear, according to women, is actually green. Ma I'm kidding. It's not, but it should be because they're sweet. So you just said don't wear anything that has like a funny pattern because it's not funny. Yet green lantern underwear is okay because they're sweet. These people just spew the most utter nonsense you've ever, like, it's just utter garbage. Like, it's just garbage. It's garbage. Like, I can't even, be I contradiction after contradiction after contradiction just to be like an alpha male. Like, it's exhausting. Like, living in this world and actively putting yourself in this world is exhausting. Exhausting. I am a very free, I feel like I consider myself quite a free soul. I don't, uh, you know, conform to much. I'm very, I will just do whatever I want to do. Oh, you know, permitting it's not illegal, of course. Arrest the baby. And I don't need to conform to so many of these weird stereotypes and weird, like, rules of how to... When there's no rules on how to be a man. Like, that's obscene to be like, oh, you have to wear these type of underwear. You can't do this, you can't do, you have to speak like this, you have to walk like this, you have to act like this. It's just exhausting, exhausting. You wanna challenge my pack? Well, I hate to say this, but I'm not the alpha that you wanna challenge. What's happening? Oh no, what's this? Because my true alpha is right there. So if you wanna challenge one of us, you have to go through all of us. Ain't that right, Alpha? So true. I'm back. I stepped down because I had to. Now I'm back. So, you want to challenge? No, stop, 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 stop. I can't, I can't, I can't. I feel as if somebody's disemboweling themselves in front of me. And I don't know whether to applaud or vomit. That has to be fake. No, please tell me that's not real. People aren't like that. No, 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 no. That's just, see, that's just not like people giving advice. That's actually people believing that they're, they're alpha males and they're part of wolf packs and all that shit. No, stop, 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 stop. No, stop, 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 stop. Jail, 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 go to jail. No, stop it. I can't, I can't. It's too cringe. I cannot, li I can't look or listen to that. I can't. No, sorry, moving on. Sorry. Moving on up, moving on up. These are not alphas. Santa Claus. Shit. People use Santa Claus to manipulate their kids to act good. How about you act good because dad said f***ing act good because I pay the bills in this house. What? As far as the presents and all this bullshit go, daddy worked his ass off all year. Oh, give me gifts. the recognition. Gonna... Give me the gift certificate. Sit here and act like there's some fake dude that's coming in the house at night and we're making cookies with a red outfit. That's the same kind of dudes that don't get pussy but once a week. Because that's what's important in life. Like it's so, it's cringe. I don't know if this, I don't know if this person actually has children. Like I feel so sorry for this kid's, ch like this guy's children if he has children. I don't, I actually don't know if he has kids or not. I would probably say no. I just want to go on what he said. So. Santa Claus is bullshit. People use Santa Claus to manipulate their kids to act good. No, they don't. No, they, they don't. Like, I've never heard, yes, around Christmas time, if kids are playing up, they'll be like, oh, you'll be on the naughty list or something. I've never heard anyone in March going, little Bonchetta, don't be a little bitch. Oh, Santa Claus won't come. Naughty little girl. Like I've never, I only ever hear that around Christmas time. It's not manipulation to try to make your kids behave. Like that's, 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 that's a stretch. But you act good because dad said can act good because Oh yeah, so it's like, and this, and look at look at the look at the way that they've put they've 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 shown this like oh because dad like yeah assert your masculine energy over a child because that's really masculine of you like that's pathetic like that's pathetic and as far as the presents and all this bullshit go daddy worked his ass off all year to buy you these gifts it's just it's just it's just me 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 I'm the one me like there's nothing nothing screams more alpha male than being abusive to your children. As a man, there is no easy life. If you're looking for an easy life, you should have been a girl. You made a mistake. Your life is not about being You easy. made your a mistake. Being happy. Your life is always going- <laughs> You made a mistake. <laughs> Men, if you want an easy life, you should have been a girl. You made a mistake. I mean, unless you know some sort of like, strange thing that they do in the womb now, like you don't really get a choice what you're assigned at birth. You just come out the way you come out. I don't, I don't have any like, Oh, well, actually, this fetus was like, do you know what? I really want an easy life. Mom, can you make me a girl, please? Like, what are you talking about? You made a mistake. What are you talking about? A man who wants an easy life just transitioned into a girl because apparently doing that is so much easier. I'm a woman. Life is not about being easy. Your life is not about being happy. Your life is always going to be difficult. All if your life is difficult from start to finish, then you need to make a change in your life. Everyone deserves happiness 
and some level of ease and some enjoyment, downtime where they can enjoy themselves. No one on this planet deserves to wake up in the morning and have to grind 9 to 9 p.m., like 12 hours a day, come home, eat, go to bed and repeat for your rest of your life. No one deserves that. Every human here deserves to have some level of comfortability, some level of freedom, some level of playtime, some level of fun. Like, this idea that you have to grind yourself to the grave is so destructive to society and who like to people's well-being and you wonder why people are depressed now as a society we've we've adopted this idea of we must grind ourselves to death and it's really common now and most companies will just like if you don't want to do what they do fired gone buy whatever oh no you're replaceable all this shit we've we've almost like accepted that this isn't fine and okay it's absolutely not fine and okay to grind yourself into exhaustion illness and death these people as well are not happy andrew tay is not a happy person these people are miserable it's not fair because they're not free they talk about freedom and how free they are because they've gone they all, they talk about how one they're not free they are so trapped in their little worlds that they are not free. and they're so insecure as i said before they're so insecure they're not free in any way, shape or form. People who are actually genuinely happy and enjoying their life and successful don't post shit like this because they don't need to prove to the world how free they are. People should not have to tell you the kind of people they are. Those kind of things will just show. You can tell quite quickly when you're talking to someone a good idea of kind of what the kind of person they are. Sometimes it takes a bit longer than others, but you should never have to tell someone the type of person you are. Like that will just show through. We can tell that you're an insecure little boy because as soon as you say anything that might critique them or jeopardize what they believe in or do anything that goes against, they just have a meltdown. Stop going out with your friends. If you're trying to get better with girls from experience, chances are that your friends already see you as a low status guy and you might not even be what? aware of that. What kind of friends do you have? Think back to a time when you and your friends went out to a club or a party and everyone but you was making out with the girl or dancing with them. The reason you can Oh, this to is projection, isn't it? This is his story and he's like, friends. No, everyone else is because same. you subconsciously feel I mean, that are we surprised? they see you as a peasant. Peasants? And this is why your <laughs> Wait, behavior what? to your friends get results with girls is because you subconsciously feel that they see you as a peasant. And this is why your behaviors will portray... Who actually uses the word peasant? Seriously. Take your filthy hands off me, peasant someone who is a low status male because when you're around them you'll behave as a peasant so if you keep going out with them be prepared for more depressing nights i'm gonna go kill myself that was i don't even know what he was what was he even talking about then so wait wait so i'm just, I'm just gonna so if you're trying to get better with girls for, from experience this is just projection this is projection 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 he's had a bad experience and instead of going okay maybe i'm the problem or something or maybe i just had a bad experience he's now going this is what the reality is of men it's like no you're just projecting chances are your friends already see you as a low status guy so if you're trying to get better with girls your friends think of you as low status what's the point in that and you might not even be aware about but it's a cold fact Think back to a time you've been to a club, but everyone else was making out a girl or dancing with them. And the reason you continue to be a spectator from the sidelines is because subconsciously you feel that they see you as a peasant. What are you talking about? What are you talking? What on earth are you talking about? I, I, I don't even know how to dissect what he's just said in that video. It's, it's just total nonsensical bollocks. Men, you need to stop playing video games. Now, don't get me wrong. I used to play video games Why? a lot. I had full Daedric armor on Skyrim, bro. I wasn't playing around. But one day I realized that if I had invested even half the hours I spent on video games into building my own business, oh, brand, God. or These legacy, guys literally want to grind so themselves into the and floor. it's not just about time. Video games are designed to trick you into thinking you've accomplished something. When no, in reality, it's... They're designed for fun. Stop grinding and laboring away at building a fake life when you can go out and build a real one. Follow for more thoughts and challenges That's like this. not... So... We this is what I mean. Like, these people are allergic to downtime. These people are allergic to having fun. And, like, I'm not trying to critique people's appearances, but let's just look at this guy and let's be honest. He looks exhausted. This guy looks exhausted. Look at the... He looks like he's not slept in, like, a week. 
Let's just be honest. He looks exhausted. He looks absolutely exhausted. These people have no idea like how damaging what they're doing is. They 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 really believe they've been brainwashed as a young person by these older people doing it. People like Alpha M back in the day. They've been brainwashed by the Andrew Tates and all these people to copy what they're doing. And now this this guy is what mid twenties. He looks he looks exhausted because he's trying to keep up with these millionaires. Do you want to show you what happens with these millionaires? The reason they can do all this is because they're millionaires. All the stuff that Andrew Tate talks about talks about how it's really shit to do and you shouldn't be doing all stuff. He is doing all of that stuff off camera. Trust. He's doing all of those things that he's telling you not to do off camera. This obsession with not playing video games is weird. Video games is a huge industry now where you can make lots of money, be very successful. I do Twitch streaming. I have a wonderful time. I don't really make that much money for it because YouTube is my main source of income, but like it's still an income source for me. And there are people who are like making millions. It's a huge industry. Esports, one of the biggest things going on in the world when it comes to competitions. Like it's, it's this whole idea, stop playing video games. Okay, boomer. Oh dear. We never seem to have any fun anymore. How did men go from this to this? Oh. You're drunk. I mean, T. This whole idea that like men these days are too soft or men didn't do all this kind of stuff. Literally, look at this. Like, it, it, it's it's just factually incorrect. It's like all of these like alpha men have just like gone la 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 la, la to history. La, can't I speak, no see, no talk, no f We've been here, sis, forever. I know this isn't actually just specifically about gay, but like they're talking about how men go from, you know, going to war to this. Is it like, this is what I understand as well. It's this glorification of war. Is it was like this wonderful thing that men should like aspire to be. Why do, why do you want men to go to war? I don't, this, they, they love it. There's something about the war. It makes them like come. Oh, that's lovely, that is. Like they're so obsessed with making men warriors and like people who want to go to war. I would much rather sit and watch a drag show than go to war and potentially die. Like, what are you talking about? Sissies and cross-dressing and drag and all this stuff has always been here. This isn't a new phenomena. I don't understand why these people are so blind to history. It's like they're ignorant. They're willfully blind. They know it. They know what they're saying is a lie, but they're just trying to sugarcoat it and lie and like deflect. Like. It's obscene. Obscene. In wars, it's interesting. In wars, you look at any God. war, they'll talk Andrew about 12,000 people died here. Yeah. And one of them was this guy. There's names and there's numbers. So if you're going to go to war, you can decide. Do you want to be a name or a number? Why do you want to go to die? war? What's the, again, what is the obsession with war? What is the obsession with war? What is, they're, they're obsessed. Everyone in a war who dies, there will always be someone who goes, this person was in it. This person was in it, this person was in it, this person was in it. Everyone will have their own person and each person that was in that will probably have someone that will remember their name and be like, this person was in it. What you've just said is completely just ridiculous. Six rules to become a high value man. Hide your sadness, no one cares. Showing your emotion next to was like ble bleeding next to a shark. People are looking, wait, 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 sorry. They, 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 wait, 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 wait. First of all, hide your sadness, no one cares. Next to, next to Henry. Sorry, Henry is someone who would clearly show his emotion. He doesn't seem like a twat like you. Hide your sadness. I don't, like, it's literally factually proven that keeping in emotions and bottling everything up is bad for you. Is bad, like, it, that's, that, that's, that's proven. Like, it, that's not even just like a, 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 a little stupid side note of like, oh, maybe this happened. No, it's fact. Showing your emotions next to a woman is like bleeding next to a shark. These people don't, again, these people don't want girlfriends. They don't want wives. They, they don't want, like, imagine referring to a woman as saying, if you show any emotion next to a woman, they will feed on you like a shark with blood. Like, what, what relationships are you getting into, sis? I've never known a woman who doesn't want their, their man to be somewhat emotional, who just wants them to be like, I don't show any emotion. Hello, I am the man. I'm going to work now. You're a bitch. What is the point of a date? The point of a date is to drop her anxiety to zero. That's when she's up here. So when you oh, get in the mental she says, you want to come over? Don't be talking the Uber ride. She will. Everything you say is lowering your chances to f her throat. Don't Excuse me? To f shut the f up. Let her let it get awkward. Let it get quiet. And you will. In the Uber, the guy's anxiety spikes and hers raises. And he goes, so, like, what do you do? What do you, where do you live? And then, bro, if she invites you to f 
No, what you're saying is don't talk to them in the car. Don't talk to them because you are a boring person. These people who talk like this about women, like the the, the, the really vulgar language, like, I know I, I swear and I curse and things, but like, it's not actually serious. I'm joking, I'm having fun. This person is like deadly serious. Like this whole idea of like, oh, if you start talking to her in the car, she's not gonna f you anymore. Like, it's so disgusting. Like the reason these people say this kind of stuff is because they know fully if they start talking to the girl in the car, the girl's gonna get turned off because the things that they want to talk about and they want to say is just rancid, putrid nonsense that they know that it's gonna turn the other person off. So they're like, well, stay quiet in the car so the girl doesn't really have a moment to really get to know you properly to make a fully, you know, idea of like, maybe I don't want to be with this person. It's just, it's, let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. It's, that's the reason. Not because, oh, well, it makes them mysterious and they're less like them because they're gonna be, uh, no, you're just a moron and you don't want the girl to realize that. Today, I'm oh god, not another one. Okay. To touch a woman to drive her wild. Sorry, I, is... I thought we were over this man, but one more just crept in. Today, I'm going over a few weird places to touch a woman to drive her wild. Number one is her ear. We touch it, weird. Lady, caress it, you got it. Game over, you win. Next. You of weird. Course, sensitive. Scalp, very sensitive. Lots of nerve endings. Why Moving is that down weird? The body, lower back, inner thigh, feet, hands, eyelid, lips. Yes. Boobs? No. Don't. Wait. What? Wait, what? I didn't understand the word of that. I'm sorry. Today, I'm going over a few weird places to touch a woman. Today, I'm going over a few weird places to touch a woman. To drive her wild. To drive her wild. Her Apparently, touching someone's ear, neck, lower back, inner thigh, lips. Lips is weird. Weird. But don't touch her breasts. This man has never had sex in his life. You've called slut speak. Mm. Women of the audience, right? Do you think it's weird when a man touches your neck? Do you think it's weird when a man touches your lips? He literally said lips, and it lips, lips. And literally don't touch a woman. Every part of a woman is weird, but the only place that isn't weird is her boobs, but don't touch the boobs because it doesn't do anything for a woman. We all have nerve endings in our boobs. Uh, in our boobs? <laughs> you can always tell me. My tits, my coca -cans. We all have nerve endings in our nipples. And so the idea that you would say, don't touch the nipples because, or the boobs, because it doesn't do anything. Has this man ever been with a woman? <laughs> no, I don't want it. This makes me think of like, you know, the 40 year old virgin was like, oh, touching a bag of sand. Eight signs of a low quality woman. They haven't even spelled signs right. Sings, eight sings. Social media freak, puts career over family, sticks out tongue in pictures materialistic too many piercings you're gonna be single for the rest of your life social media freak what does that mean like what does that actually mean does that mean someone with a huge following does that mean someone who does social media as a job does that mean someone who just uses social media like what does that mean because judging by some of the other stuff we've seen in this video it kind of just to me that just sounds like any woman who's on social media if you've got social media and you're with a partner no get rid of it you're mine now obey bitch like that's what I read. So social media freak, I just think. But also, you're using social media to spread this message. How can you not see how ridiculous you sound? Mm -hmm. Puts career over family. I want to say to any women watching this, the only person that you can truly rely on in your life is yourself. If you want to focus on your career before even thinking about a family, can do it. If any man who says to you, no, I don't want a woman like that, they're just scared of you. Fragile men say this to women because they're just completely insecure. This has nothing to do with like low quality women or low class women or bad women. They're insecure and they're so fragile that they can't handle that a woman is more or as successful as them. They hate it because they don't want someone on par with them. They want a pet. And they're threatened by your success. Essentially, they're threatened by your success because they don't want you to leave them for someone more successful than them. Alpha male tattoo ideas. Oh God. It's gonna be a, it's, well, it's gonna be a wolf, isn't it? The wolf with some trees, like some wolf with like tree leaves and a forest or something, isn't it? Like the tooth. Oh, what a surprise. It's the... <sighs> Again, it's it's very basic white man tattoo. Like this kind of tattoo, we've seen a bazillion times. These kind of like Roman God Empire kind of like tattoos. Like it's it's so common. It's so common to I mean, at least this one here has a bit more sort of like self-design, like the sort of samurai look. It's a samurai, right? I think it's a samurai sword. I quite like this one to be honest. But like these kind of like uh statue Roman Empire kind of like gladiator men, like that's it's very common. And but this out of all of it. This is an alpha male tattoo. This is basic male tattoo. Let's just be honest. It's true. Oh God, how to walk like an alpha male. Head down to avoid eye contact. 
to look straight ahead when you walk. To do this, starting with number one, never hide your thumbs. This makes you seem nervous. But the other guy said to put. Number two, you want to sway your shoulders. Walk like Three, sway your shoulders. You sway walk your shoulders. There's this straight line running from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Sway your shoulders. Uh. Sashay, Shante. <laughs> Cover girl, put the bass in your cut. Oh, no need to be rude. <laughs> that was just like walk with posture. Like walk, you know, don't slouch. That's not walking like an alpha male. That's just like saying stand up straight. It's not standing up like an alpha male. Like everyone should be standing up straight. Like let's not hunch over. Like it has nothing to do with being an alpha male. But the whole thing is like sway your shoulders. Ooh. <laughs> like what? You can tell straight away when a man isn't confident when they're wait, walking how to walk around, like an looking at the wait. ground, with their shoulders slumped, avoiding eye contact. Instead, next time you're walking somewhere, look straight ahead. Be more confident than all like... these rules. Number one, never hide your thumbs. It makes you look nervous. It, this is literally the like same video. Hide. Number two, start swaying your shoulders when you walk. Oh, and this is... Three, so, starts, they've literally just... I mean, I don't know who uploaded the one first. I'm not going to look at the dates or whatever, but like... They've just done the same thing. Just regurgitating the same nonsense. That's, that's, that, that was the I, that wasn't like any any different. That was identical to what we just watched. Two create two alpha male creators have just made the exact same video with like they didn't even there was no change in the script, no change in the talk. It was the exact same. Vi <sighs> Give me strength. But you know, don't copy people because apparently copying people makes you a bitch. But you know, they've copied each other. It's see, they all just contradict each other. <laughs> okay, so. Hands in pockets, closed posture, alpha male nonsense. What? How to correct, have correct masculine body language. Less, legs shoulder width, both hands on hips, no. Go, wait, what? Have one hand in your pocket, gesture, gesture, wait. What's happening? Follow for more etiquette tips. I don't know, that seemed quite uh, f***y to me. That didn't make any sense. So the, the video is called Tips on How to Present Yourself as an Alpha Male. But hands in your pockets isn't, but you've just... Closed posture, alpha male nonsense. How to correct a masculine body language. It's legs shoulder width apart. But don't put your hands on your hips. But do this instead. That's the same thing! <laughs> Oh my god, no, I'm stopping. No, no, sit down, sit down. Nonsense, 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 nonsense. That these people are ill, unwell, ill. So I've been filming for an hour and 20 minutes. Unwell, unwell, unwell to the point of unsavable. Like that, that, what we've just watched today is just utterly deranged. I I knew that this was going to be like a weird video and it was going to, I was going to probably get a, tri not triggered, but I was only going to get like a bit hot and bothered girls, but it's all for fun. Like this is the thing. I can do this kind of stuff and it's not really going to affect me because I'm not trapped in like this w weird world. But there are so many vulnerable people, like especially young people. These people, the reason these people are so successful is because young teenagers will look at this and think they have to be like this and then become obsessed with it. And then this, you know, this is the reason why these people are so successful who do this kind of stuff. I mean, I don't know the, the successfulness of all of these people, but like so many of these people, like Andrew Tate, for example, the only reason he's successful is because young teenagers, young boys, majority of young boys look up to this and think they have to be like this. So they all become really toxic and become so obsessed and become, they look past the most ridiculous things when he was like arrested for like, you know, SA and trafficking and stuff. Like they were all like, no, it's not true. That's the matrix. That's the matrix. Because they're, they put it, they, it becomes their entire existence. Their entire personality becomes being like this. That, Again, anything that jeopardizes it becomes fake and fake news. And f it's the reason Donald Trump becomes in power. It's that kind of like clown mentality. It's really sad. It's really sad that people like this still exist. And this is still like, I do think the tides are slightly changing a little bit, but it's still, it's cringe. It's embarrassing. And I feel so sorry for these people who have to th like behave like this in order to feel success and like to feel like, complete i don't know how you would explain it like what are these people who are they ploppy goo goo it's embarrassing it's cringe 
I don't really know what to say. I feel like I said everything I needed to say throughout this video anyway, so I don't think I need to do like an end quote. But what I will say is to like any young boys actually watching it, I don't know how many young straight people are watching me, but any young straight men who might be on this channel, and this, I mean, this goes for everyone really, but like obviously this, this content is aimed for straight guys. You really do not need to do any of this stuff in order to be successful to be an alpha male. This whole concept of alpha male is based on lies anyway. It's not real. All you have to be in life to be successful and happy is to just be you and to stop conforming and to stop thinking you need to do any of this stuff in order to be successful have a wife or to have a girlfriend or get married or have kids you don't have to do any of this stuff all you need to do is just you know be a good person just be a good person be willing to learn other things be willing to you know express yourself how you want to express yourself like if you're a guy and you're a straight guy who wants to pierce his nose it's not gonna make you look trashy just do it if you're a man who wants to i don't know wear a certain type of underwear and it makes you happy just do it if you're not hurting anyone you're not being offensive you're not being graphically gross or like you know anything just, just do it you don't need to do all this stuff you don't need to be like i must walk like this and don't put my hands in my don't say don't show any emotion hiding your emotions is just going to cause you immense trauma and you're gonna have a meltdown don't think women have to obey you and don't obey anyone else as well like it's oh god it's really sad I hope, like, I feel like I shouldn't really have to say this, really, because just watching me, I should be enough to be, like, I know I'm gay and stuff, but, like, I should feel like watching me should be enough to be able to convey that message anyway. But, like, please don't do any of this shit because it's just, it's just bad. You just look like a twat. It just makes you look like a twat. I don't feel like anyone in the outside world, because like social media is a, is a vacuum. It can be very like bubbled world. Like it makes you feel like there's more people than there actually is. But like people on the outside world look at people like this and they just think, twat they don't look at this and go yeah no most people the majority of people think these people are f morons well guys we are all truly triggered two two is being done the railway about to crash off the cliff and plunge to our death bye and we're back just like jesus christ oh jesus christ is an alpha male oh jesus club jesus club jesus jesus club jesus christ <laughs> I can't do my outro. I'm too messed up. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know what you think down below. It's probably going to be a bit longer because I filmed for a bit longer than I was expecting. But comment down below. What are your opinions? What would you like to say? Any, you know, any, any opinions are welcome. Um, and as I said, be fabulous. Be amazing. Be gay. Be straight. Be whatever you want to be. And don't let any bitch say that you can't be you because you are flawless. Um, and yeah, it's I'm doing my outro before there because I feel like it's a good point to make. Um, today's Twitch shout out goes to Siren Dragon. Thank you for following me over on Twitch. I'm gonna be doing some streams very, very soon. So come follow me on Twitch and maybe you can be in the next Twitch shout out. Make sure you do hit the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. Thank you for all the love and support you do give me. A lovely shout out to my gorgeous Patreons whose names you can see on the side of the screen here. Thank you for being a Patreon. You guys are mwah, delicious. But an extra special shout out to my top tier Patreons. Alex Ewart, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining the Patreon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Prince of Horror, Cameron Pittman, Callum S, Rishi, Athena Barrington, Erin Grace, Heather McFarland, Christina Kyle, Benjamin Baker, Aya, Robin Scott Palmer, Bethard, Steffi Tech, Caitlin Wright, Chloe Louise, Shell Herman, and Kelly Bowser. Thank you for being my top tier patrons. You guys are mwah, delicious. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>